Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to quarantine day. I don't even know. Guys, I lost track and today has been the first day since this quarantine coronavirus that I literally shaved. Okay guys, I haven't shaved since then. And let me tell you guys, it feels amazing. I showered, I uh, took about an hour in the bathroom just to kind of relax and exfoliate and do everything that I would normally do on a non-quarantine day. All right, guys, so it is about 4.30 in the afternoon and... I think I'm in the mood for Krispy Kremes. I just want to go out and literally just chill for a little bit, even if it's just getting donuts. That's how crazy quarantine is. But um, of course, I'm bringing you guys along. That way we can do this together. And remember, guys, we are in this together. So let me show you guys really quick what I'm going to be wearing. Sorry, my camera is moving a lot. I got this amazing Michael Kors. This is my lounge wear. And it just has Michael Kors all over. And we're going to be wearing those. And I'm just going to be wearing a regular Express t-shirt and my Ox because it's actually snowing outside in Chicago. So let me get ready and we'll catch up in a few minutes. Say hi to the blog live. Hi, little followers. Say hi. Hey, guys. So this is my little nephew, Sane. He is handling just fine due to a quarantine. But um, we're going to go get donuts. I'll bring you a donut, little baby. Okay? Okay. Oh, say bye. Bye. What's up, guys? Nobody is out, just me. Oh, my God. It feels so good wearing the five thousand dollar coat just to go get freaking donuts okay guys i haven't had a chance to glam i haven't had a chance to do nothing but today i said you know what i'm not gonna let this quarantine get to me we are gonna do the best that we can and just have fun guys you only live once so we gotta make the best out of it Anyway, here we are, snow in Chicago, quarantine day, I don't even know. Let's get a nice little thumbnail. Say hi. This is my brother-in-law. Say hi to the vlog life. Hi, How many coffees do we have, Tiffany? Uh, maybe six. Right. No, one, two, three, four, sorry. Really? Is it too sweet? Is it okay? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I mean, it's like they, they're always fucking word yeah, our good. coffee. Hey guys, so I'm here at uh, okay. Dunkin' Donuts. We just stopped at Krispy Kremes for some donuts and some coffee. But to be honest with you, they fucked up the coffee. Let me tell you, if you sell coffee... Make sure you know how to fucking make really good coffee. And I'm so sorry that I'm being a bitch right now, but it is a tough time. People are stressed out. You don't want to stress out about coffee, especially like everything that is going on with the coronavirus and everything. I'm going to sound like a total cunt, but guys, like this coffee is so fucking horrible. And uh, right now we stopped at Dunkin' Donuts to get some iced coffee. Um, hopefully they don't fuck it up. Guys, the struggle is real. Right, Tiff? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my God, guys. Give me this. Okay, this is what happens, okay? When a restaurant sells really good donuts but fucked up coffee. This is all the coffees that I'm going to throw away, guys, because they taste so fucking watered down. And let me tell you guys, okay, with all this coronavirus shit that is going on and everyone just being isolated, least thing that I want to worry about is my fucking coffee. Like, 
this is garbage guys this is so fucking nasty and i'm i'm gonna throw this away guys i'm just gonna throw this away. Yeah. it's just like so horrible Krispy Kremes, I love your donuts, but I hate your fucking coffee. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna let this ruin my day because whatever, it is what it is, but baristas, if you do not know how to make coffee, don't even fucking make coffee. Don't make coffee. Right. This is a reason why people send back their shit. Normally, I would go back to the drive-thru and say, you know what, this tastes like shit nicely of course but since we're all going through quarantine and coronavirus epidemic and all this craziness i'm like you know what i'm just gonna keep my mouth shut throw this shit away and get myself some coffee so let me try my dunkin donuts let's see how it is all right i've never thought of saying this but I think I'm relying on Dunkin' now. Honestly, like, I haven't had Starbucks in a while. And this coffee is actually the bomb. Mm. So good, guys. Like, why can't people make good fucking coffee? Why? Why? Ugh. Okay, so I'm following Tiffany because we're heading to a Mexican supermarket. I don't know what she's going to get. Apparently, she's gonna cook tonight. So we're gonna see if they're actually open. So what are you getting, girl? Um, well, at least there's produce. Oh, here. Oh, they're here. Hi. Okay, so Tiffany's gonna be making a Mexican stew. Um, it's called carne en su jugo, but she's also going to be making a vegetarian version for me. So I'm super excited about that. Oh, girl. Anyway, since we're already here, maybe we can do a small little grocery shop and just see what else we need. Everything looks super fresh. So what else are you getting, Tiffany? Oh my god, guys, it looks so ratchet. Anyway, this is the reason why you should support your small neighborhood supermarkets because they're still open, they need to make their money, it's not like a big corporation, and at the same time, you are helping them as well as they're helping you by staying open and making sure that you grab all the groceries that you need, which is very, very important. Ooh, Tiffany! Tiffany's on a roll! Okay, girl! What's up with quarantine? Okay, we're not interested in the meat. Well, at least I'm not. Uh, do you want a basket, girl? No. Are you sure? Oh my god, Tiff! Look at her going crazy at the Mexican supermarket. And it's not like you need food because your fridge is definitely stocked up, girl. It feels so good when you're shopping and you really don't have to wait in line because literally there's no one in line. And this is the reason why we support small businesses because they work so hard and they're open during this hard time and people are not going crazy when they're shopping people are being respectful and i like that a lot so definitely this is a reason why you guys should also shop at small little shops while going through this whole craziness because you know you help them to stay afloat